Hey guys, let's do a morning episode. Just thought of a few topics I want to discuss. I'm going to do a lot of videos today. I'm feeling energetic. Today's the last day of the public holiday of Eid in Bangladesh. After this, it's going to get really noisy, messy. People will be back. In the city life, it's going to be really, really <laughs> hectic. So anyway, those who do not, uh, those who are looking for a fragrance review here, it's not going to be a review. Just going to be some discussion on fragrance related topics. So if you want to stick around, please do. I'll try to make it short, not too long. Try to finish within 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm on testing mode today. First of all, I am testing my this new beautiful bottle, Dakar Prestige Edition. This is for women, but pretty unisex perfume. I am testing it. I'm gonna let you know my uh, thoughts on this pretty soon. So wait for it. Uh, but it's a very gorgeous perfume, very very beautiful perfume. Um, so another one, I actually using few perfumes testing. My hands are my test strips. So I am using which one is the other one? I'm using this one. On my left hand this is the fog uh, discover last night i did the whole house talk i'll review this individually later this is sort of like a one million but uh, more citrusy okay so that's the second one i'm uh, testing here and in this hand <laughs> crazy i just did uh, rouge by narcisa rodriguez for her line edp so this one is here so i'm smelling really nice i can tell i can tell you that much i'm smelling really good <laughs> i'm enjoying my morning it's about uh, no it's actually afternoon 12 30. And then the last one I did uh, on my neck, two spritzers, is uh, this one, tag him, crazy, right? But it, it smells really nice. I like the grapefruity smell around this area. It's, it's pretty refreshing. So that's a blood Chanel clone. I'll talk about it, uh, how good that is. It's a new formulation, by the way. So I want to talk about two topics today. One is the importance of fragrance communities throughout the world. And the second one I would like to talk about mm, why I choose to do different kind of perfumes reviews, like... Uh, I read a comment yesterday, you know, like I always take the comments as suggestion and I something uh, tips on improvement or something to learn from. I do not uh, go like take things personally because even if, if, if let us say there's criticism, there's always uh, room for you to understand better. So if you how you see it, it, it matters. So, yeah, uh, uh, first of all, the fragrance community thing. Uh, you know, like uh, when the fragrance community started a long time ago, Mark started it and a few other reviewers were there. And then there was base notes. A lot of these sites came together, fragrance groups came together. And that time it was very small circle, small group. With time, uh, let's say it's a good day for a good thing for fragrance lovers all over the world. That fragrance community is getting larger by time. And then we have very big reviewers like Jeremy, it's one side, he's very popular, his channel is huge, and he actually sort of created this park among youngsters and many other people about designer fragrances that smells good, gets you compliments, you know, uh, something like something to do with uh, what you call, like uh, compliments and fragrance addiction. Other reviewers sort of put you towards this niche perfumes that is more posh, elegant, and uh, natural ingredients, you know, some more creative, more pricier, and some reviewers just talk about unknown gems, so different reviewers do different things. But with the time, you know, what really happened was out of those reviews, there were Facebook groups and they were created by individuals who were interested, sort of like a hobby, sort of uh, interest group they created just for you to post their scent of the day. You know, I, I opened my page a long time ago, Facebook group. So we do Facebook uh, like scent of the day brand new release reviews talking about notes what's your favorite top 10 summer niche so this kind of like makes interesting we just have this nice hobby so a lot of people used to be you know having some hobbies those are not very good some people got into drinking addiction and stuff but i think many of those people they are now got into this fragrance game and they're addicted to this so no addiction is good but at the same time uh, i think this is a good hobby to have so now what you're seeing is we're having groups from uh, india Philippines, I don't know if there's Thailand, I don't know, but sis, uh, Sister Lumina Kazami, she opened it from uh, Nepal, Japan, Japan. so the sort of like, we have these Asian uh, groups coming up. So I don't want to say like particular Asian group, all over the world, there should be fragrance groups, so there should be a community where people come, they contribute their reviews, their insights, their collection. It helps people to sort of like uh, learn new things about fragrances, where to buy fragrances, how to test fragrances, how to buy fragrances, you know, like not blind buying, positive tips, uh, what kind of perfume to wear in which weather, how much to wear, a lot of things to learn, everything, there's a lot of scopes of learning. So I think Philippines is doing really, really good. I'm really loving it. I think uh, 
recent days they have been meeting up a lot doing a lot of uh, <laughs> a ph revolution fraccom i think that's the group name i'll leave the group name below you guys can join it if you're from philippines and they do in their own language sometimes and they had this their sessions where they have few drinks and then you know talking the drunk sessions and stuff very interesting and i think many uh, he actually cascade sense many how are you doing many <laughs> so if you're watching so he went there recently he met up with those bros i think it's fantastic reviewers are supporting the community reviewers helping each other a lot of big reviewers helping me in bangladesh to help grow the community and they're doing um, they're courteous enough to let me work with them as a collab and everything namely chad and a lot of these other reviewers they, they really did. everyone who helped me everyone who do, did a uh, collab work thank you so much i'm not a big time reviewer i just know very little but i have the passion for it i like collecting i'm most about designer fragrances so yes i think every single country anywhere you're from if you let's say i was in malaysia but sadly malaysia has such a nice country like like a nice market a lot of people use nice fragrances but you need to do if you're from malaysia if you're watching this someone please open a group from malaysia i, I will do it i swear <laughs> So there should be a group where people meet up once in a while in Starbucks, they discuss fragrances, you know, like they take a selfie, put some bottles together. It looks so nice. It, it feels like a club, you know, it's like interest club, like scouting, you know, scouts. So I think that's important. It will help you grow because every country has its own culture, food, uh, how they dress, how the language is. Uh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. There was a phone call. It was a happy call. I got a fragrance sample package that's arrived in my local courier. Yes, core. <laughs> Sorry. So I was saying that, you know, every country has its own culture, religion, you know, lifestyle. So I would like to see, like, what kind of weathers you have that's most important. Like, is it hot weather, humid weather, like we have it here? Or you live in a colder country, you know, like a nice country in Europe. So your fragrance, how do they sort of perform? What is the fragrance that's popular there? What is actually doing good? So these kind of things is nice to know. It's exchanging cultures and share your, you know... Uh, situation in the country how is your malls what kind of, where do you buy the perfumes how much are they a lot of these things to be you know shared so i can definitely tell you what uh, this is actually needed and i think we have good few groups in bangladesh that's going on we i like to keep my group very active i share all the re new reviews from sort of like an archive of reviews when you read newspaper i like to put daily uh, reviews out there anyone like let's say steven did it or um, mark did it jeremy did it whoever you know and let's say Dan Norton did a new video I'll share it in my page so you guys can see something new and I think the reviewers work is should be appreciated because they put up a lot of new contents for you to check because if it's same old same old boring fragrances it's not gonna be like fun anymore you want to see something new you want to see someone putting out new content like max 40 does okay dollars and cents they do so new contents means you always keep interested okay and uh, if there is something new they'll only be interested if there's always the same boring stuff people just walk away right and the last thing i want to say is why i do sort of a mix of fragrance reviews i do arm off i do fog perfumes which is cheap four or five dollars because i believe very simple even i have i'll show you one of these things i have this pocket perfume that costs like one dollar yeah one dollar okay it's 18 ml perfume and this is from india I buy these from time to time, you know, I'm just, I'm just going around the shops or something. I'm just going to buy some drinks or something like waters and stuff. So I see this local stationery shop, they have these. So yeah, it smells good, I buy it, you know, and I like to review it, show it to people because people, you have to understand, have different uh, uh, affordability and they come from different backgrounds. So some of them don't have the best affordability to afford like a niche fragrance like Amos or Creed. So they look for something of a budget fragrance. That is the sole reason. Yesterday I showed one fragrance. Uh, this one was leaking a little bit and then someone's like, if it's leaking, why should I buy it? Yes, I understand. Maybe it's a faulty bottle. I don't know. But budget fragrances help a lot of people out there. I don't want to be a, making my channel or group my passion limited to certain niche class or certain designer class. You know, I believe everyone should be able to take part and uh, we should be open. Our mind should be open. Uh, that's just my way of thinking. Uh, but I do cover a lot of <laughs> fragrances from different areas. So I think if a fragrance... You know, it may not appeal to you, but someone out there, maybe he's a student, right? He cannot afford more than a body spray, but he can upgrade. He want to upgrade to a perfume, just, you know, fragrance, just to get a taste of EDT, right? So I would do that Playboy review, Adidas, Nike, whatever I get, if it's nice, right? But I wouldn't recommend you a product that's not good because it's cheap, right? So yeah, that's basically more or less my reasoning and everything. Just explaining it to you. So everybody have a nice day. Those are the two topics I want to talk about. Please do 
startup groups if you want to do reviews please start up we will try our best to support you and then share with our group so you get more views subscribers and you can feel motivated to grow right take care have a very nice day and thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon bye bye